Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. The New Order is Germany. The Civil War is upon us. And I would say, overall, we're doing a fantastic, fantastic job. Let's go to Essen and Dortmund. Dortmund is the capital of Spieders, Germany. And we're, I think they were looking pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good. Most of our attention is on Spieder, just because that is, like, the biggest front line we have at the moment. But I do need to get this cleaned up. I literally cannot tell. Do we have military access for you? We don't. It is a little hard, again, like, to see where exactly all of these uh, units align. There's been a coup in Norway. And I'm assuming that coup is probably anti-German in nature, which is not cool. Purple is doing fine. Stuttgart's been captured. Stuttgart is... Wait, how did you get here? Oh, wait, is that what the influence does? Like, if I spend five legitimacy here and to capture Bremen, does that just spawn units? It might. Okay, so that maybe I didn't, like, have a stupid uh, gap in my line. The game does event spawned units behind me, which is a little annoying. There's a reason that Kaiser I got rid of this uh, focus. Also, have I not been taking a focus in a while? Let's go face the people. Let's have the German people know that I support them. And please, German people, if you could give me some oil, that would, uh, that would make me a happy boy. We did lose a little bit of stability. Do I get stability back for recapturing the city? I hope so, because I don't like how these guys are here at the moment. So we gotta watch our borders more carefully, for sure. Okay, let's get you guys a push forward. You can get you to Hanover. You push your way up north. You push your way like this towards uh, Goring. Shugar's been recaptured. Fantastic. We get our legitimacy back. A letter from uh, Catherine Stott. Your favorite athlete in Caucasus uh, look on with grave worry over the outbreak of civil war within the fatherland. The hearts of Germans everywhere ache, and we send our condolences to traitors sabotaging your rightful claim as freedom in the office of Fuhrer. Your efforts to reclaim your office and the crush to many traders of Germany is an inspiration to all proper sons of the Reich. Though we at Caucasus are hard pressed ourselves, they cannot afford our manpower. We shall do our part for the fatherland and ensure that your supply of fuel is undisturbed. Yes, give me, give me the oil, baby. So it looks like. So can I only do one at a time? Oh no, I I can do more. Sabotage front lines. Start an, oh, start an uprising. Oh, okay. No, basically, okay. This is gambling. We're spending five political or five influence to get this. Okay. Start an uprising. Goring, Heinrich. No, uprising in Spieders, Germany, please. 30 days. Okay, so we know we do now know what that does. Okay, Ger uh, Burgundy has captured a lot of French territory. Is this one province? It looks like it is. And keep our eye out. And I want both of you. I think I think our Goring is probably like the weakest link actually at the moment. Like if there's anybody that we should be focusing on, it should be him. Heinrich here. I mean, he's not gonna be able to really uh, stop our forces anytime soon. It really shouldn't be getting like any supplies. And this is us requiring a bunch of planes. Don't worry about the planes so much. Like I under I understand it seems kind of bad, but like don't don't worry about it so much, guys. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, we're pushing our way through Spear. And once Spear is dead, like the rest of Goring, Spear actually caused an uprising in Heinrich's territory as well. So Heinrich actually might collapse very very soon. Goring is actually also pretty close to falling apart. So we're going to have an uprising here. We still have 75 legitimacy, so I mean, that still looks pretty good. We need Bremen, which is... I, I shouldn't have not probably bet on uh, the furthest away province. But hey, you know, I don't think... We only lose the five influence we spent, so it's not, like, horrible. It's just a little annoying, which is fine. Being a little annoying is okay. 
Okay, more people are completely exploding. I think that's in Moscow. We're not going to worry about that one too, too much. We're troops in this direction. Move you towards Posan. We're going to move you over to Schleidmil. And where's Brezhlau? We have taken Brezhlau. Excellent. So you've got to be pretty... I mean, other than Speeder, Speeder is still doing the best for sure. You will uprise in Schundhofer Bruschen. Which is the in Hanover, where we already literally are. Okay. So you might, like, do literally nothing for us, to be completely honest. Let's see if we can get you over to Aachen, take Dusseldorf. Hanover capture! Battle of Hanover is finally over. With deadly silence has fallen over the city, while civilians pick up the bones of the prior lives, looking for scraps and loved ones. Once again, Spears' men fought with valor and courage, but once again, they were thrown back and routed on the battlefield in the face of overwhelming firepower. Hanover's now ruined industry and strategic location was vital for Spears' war effort. Without this important strategic center, Spears' position in the northwest is precarious indeed. Rules slide around that Spears and his loyalists are on the back foot. Another major defeat like this could very well knock him out of the war. Well, I mean, does that state of our legitimacy... Of course, our legitimacy is the best. I'm assuming Heinrich probably has, like, the worst. Burgundian support... Literally nobody actually thinks that he should be the Fuhrer. Nobody thinks that uh, Goring should be Fuhrer either. It's really me or Speer. We're the ones with the most legitimacy at the moment. If we can crush you. Finally, we'll take back Augsburg. The auction's available. Let's almost finish up our path here. Okay. Somehow, I, I don't know how Heinrich's still alive. I guess because he is Danzig. But, like, as soon as he loses Danzig, it, it's basically over for him. Yeah, so I want you pushing straight down the middle. Macedonian War. I, don't, I literally couldn't give less of a shit about what the hell's happening in fucking um, <laughs> Bulgaria. Sorry, Bulgaria, you just don't matter so much, okay? We have more. We have more important things to uh, worry about at the moment. I haven't even looked at the rest of the Einspach. I don't know what's happening in the rest of the world. Okay, so nine days we'll have our uprising, but I'm pretty sure they're just supposed to rise up in uh, in Hanover, which is the city we've already captured. So, like, who cares? Like, I literally don't think it actually matters. We'll have you keep pushing. Air superiority would only be this far south anymore. We want you flying northwards. Okay, diplomat. Look at what is this flag? <laughs> okay, reinforcements to Hanover. Again, I really wish. We had multiple different colors going on. Also, did these? I guess these ten units never deployed, huh? I will send five of you here. Five of you, we're just gonna put like right on this front. So come on over. You're not gonna have a field marshal, but that's okay. We're gonna, we don't need to worry about that right now. Do I want to rally the Bolton men, war support, 10,000 manpower? We really we have a million manpower. We don't really need it, to be completely honest. Okay, we've taken Bremen, so that should mean that you succeeded. The answer is no. I technically haven't taken over the state yet. I think we need, like, one or two more victory points here. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to get that done. Frankfurt capture! Frankfurt, one of Albert Speer's large setters of support, has fallen under in after an intense four-day struggle for the city center. Although young students contested nearly every city block, their morale was simply not enough in the face of sustained artillery fire, combined with determination and uh, infantry assaults. The building-building fighting was torn apart to old medieval center of the city, and Spears loyalists turned the section into a virtual fortress. Those on the offensive lost their patience and decided to level most of the culturally rich old quarter. Lingering gunshots rang out as Spears supporters were hunted down by the uh, to the man. Gold University, one of the largest schools in the city, is little more than a grave for those who have made their last stand there. The only occupants being the corpses of the defenders trying to lie uh, lying next to the bloodshed. 
And everyone is asking himself the same question. Will Speeder recover or is he finished? I can't see how Speeder could recover. Our legitimacy right now is at a very high 85. It's looking beautiful. Somehow Speeder still has any amount of support. I don't know how. Okay, so we got the Algerian War. By the way, is this just... How, are you, how could the Civil War possibly last long enough for you to finish all of these focuses? Okay, so you are Burgundian troops. Cowich captured. The first slash fired in the Battle of Kochwitz were not heavily rattling machine guns or in the quick snaps of assault rifle, nor the bombing artillery fire, or even the shot in Kolich itself. They were precision shots from what would be the elite sniper on the outskirts of the city. Okay. Give me more. So this is from Goring. Excellent, excellent. I mean, Goring definitely is going to be... Oh, our two units risen up in Hamburg. Well, that's nice of them. Well, now our units have kind of... Uh, extended themselves maybe a little bit too far out. Let me just see if we can ratify that issue. Again, this would be easier if all of our armies literally weren't the same kind of shade of gray. But that's okay. Fine. We'll build convoys for now. I'm going to delete you, delete you. I'm going to have half a purple army move their way up here. Because purple, I'll be honest, isn't doing too much in the south. Yeah, you guys just stay in Hamburg, at least for the time being. We're at 70. You guys are looking good. Whole position here. We've got radar stations. That's cool. What do we want to research next? Let's go for not 1970. That's a little bit too far. Let's go with thermoelectric plants. Sure, why not? Those sound cool. And I want you to be going aggressively into Goring. I don't think Goring really has any uh, strength left. Also, I do see um, that the the English rebels have taken over. Uh, they, they've taken over uh, blah, 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 England, which is not great. Speeder, are you almost dead? Everyone's almost dead. And that's good. Like, we're, 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 we're on the edge. Heinrich still has Danzig. If we can race the Danzig, we can probably get him killed off. Actually, I think this city here might actually kill uh, Goring. Or is he capitulating right now? Not yet. Okay. Move into this city. Move into this city. Italy's declared war on the Greeks. Because, I mean, you're socialist. So, I mean, you know what? Fair enough. I understand why you would do it. Goring, how are you not dead? You're at 25 exactly. Well, we're going to take Poisson. And that should be... Borman dealt with. Which means I want to put these divisions here. Uh, you guys, we're going to put on this front. Please make your way over as quickly as you possibly can. And what we need to do is we need to get the Danzig. If we can take Danzig, that should get Heinrich out of the war. Now, I don't know if just taking this city will be enough to stop him. Because he's pretty close to being completely killed off. And he doesn't have any cities uh, going towards Lithuania. So if we can take, which I think we're going to take Danzig. What other cities are here? Because I want to kill Heinrich first. Danzig's fallen. I can't imagine he has any more support base. He actually needs to get down to literally 0%. Okay, cool. Is he the only person that needs to get down to literal 0? Yes. I mean, I guess that makes sense. That the SS would be the last ones to possibly want to, you know, be like the most fanatic. But there we go. They're, they're done. Are you cores now? No, you're actually technically my states. Which I find very, very funny. But now, we can kill you off. We just need your capital. Castle is worth 10 victory points. So let's take this. All of you hold off. I'm just seeing what, what cities exist. You're worth 10. Maybe we can try to take this city. Maybe something like this could work. Yeah, 
And I think... Goodbye, Spear. Honestly, that was a pretty successful... I don't even think we got through, like, three focuses. Essen captured. So the capital self-proclaimed. Reforms of Germany have fallen today, but it hasn't stopped the killings for the now-trapped soldiers who are hiding in the city. Spido surrenders Germania. Tabuna, Germany, that we inhabited, has been marked with attention the past few days. While Spido con contemplated his response to a request of putting his forces on a stand-down order. However, the entire nation took a sigh of relief and drew in Spido and Rommel announced their divisions would stand down for the first time since Germany engulfed itself in eternal conflict and allowed Bormann's forces to enter Germany and peacefully. As church bells rang across Bavaria and beers were passed out in impromptu crowds in Germania's pubs and beer halls, it seems like no place that, uh, in the Reich did not do something to celebrate the end of the harrowing civil war that claims so much German blood. If after this event you are unable to sector assign a unit, simply save and reload your game. Okay, cool. So can I select units? Yes, we're not showing up here, so we're just going to do a quick save and reload. And I mean, we're basically just gonna be the end of this episode i would say the civil war went really well like really did we i don't think it was just this episode but it's like half of last episode it was like the last two episodes either way it was a very smooth conflict probably i it's got to be about as quickly as you can do it right i'm sure i'm sure you can do better but i think those extra what 12 units we started off with in fact, I wish we didn't... Actually, the extra guns helped us out, but... Instead of taking out one extra point of industry, I really wish I just took an extra two divisions. Like, that would have been so much uh, more useful. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to save our game. And if you enjoyed this episode, remember thumbs up. Now, do we click thumbs down? You want to see more? Subscribe. And goodbye.